All right, gonna do a final round with this sort of silly turn timber list. See how it goes. on the draw I can try this especially against the Luris deck Grazer is just really good against Luris decks and I'm on like 34 lands now and 10 bounce lands three castles so hammer think I'll do it this way. It's better if I draw another bounce land if I do it this way, I think. As far as my land sequencing. Or the Tulare West also makes the land sequencing a bit better the way I did it. Um, so now I'm set up to Titan. Next turn. Okay, so I can tighten. Ooh. Grab Valakut plus doesn't really matter. Clear the dorks. Yeah. Uh, so hammer. Uh, let's play against hammer on easy mode. Thirty-two land seems like the place I want to be. Doesn't feel like a layer of the hybrid matchup. Keeping all the uh, turn timbers, they're good for exiling to force a vigor, if nothing else. This hand does kind of turn to Azusa pretty well. And then I'm just needing to draw a threat. Like turn one amulet, turn two um, Azusa, be at 24 life. Um, and then like turn three threat. We can also like draw a ramp creature and then we don't have to pack for Azusa. Oh, well, portable hole is pretty good against this hand. Probably getting hammered here. Ramp creature would be good both for the blocker and for the uh, ramp. 
opponent's empty-handed. They're getting Luris, but there's nothing really Luris gets back. Dryad's a great draw. Play the forest so we can castle next turn. Radiant Fountain really uh, pulling some weight this game. What are they getting? Shadow Spear? Well, 12 is not 13, so I'll take 12. Do I want a Vesuva Ink Moth? I don't think so. That should be enough. Opponent's last card is Lurus, so they're just dead. Yeah, I'll take one infect. Four one, not bad. Lost to Tron, but uh, you know we didn't really come prepared for Tron, so uh, beat all the like hammer is pretty easy with four force of vigor. Uh, four color is pretty easy with a million cultivators. Um, burn is pretty easy, just plain amulet. Obstinate Bayloth helped. Yeah. Maybe I should try and find room for a ghost quarter in this mana base or in this sideboard. Uh, I just don't feel like ghost quarter is a good card, but uh, might be important. I also really like to just, uh, once we get Beseju. Yeah, so once we get Beseju in this list, I think it's like one, two Besejus and like maybe one in the sideboard over like Force of Vigor, or even maybe Foundation Breaker. Like, is Foundation Breaker even a card we care about? And if we're cutting Foundation Breaker, maybe we can even start to, like, cut a basic forest for a Viseju. I don't know. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Alright, see everyone next time.